Jeremiah chapter 34. The word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, when Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and all his army, all the kingdoms of the earth, of his domain, and all the people fought against Jerusalem, against all the cities thereof, saying, here it is. Here's what Jeremiah has been speaking about. Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Go and speak to Zedekiah, king of Judah, and tell him, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give this city into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. Now, that's not what a king wants to hear. Your God, the God that founded the kingdom from David, he doesn't look at King Saul. The temple built by Solomon is going to be destroyed. And thou shalt not escape out of his hands. Not as it's only the town, the city, you know that, but you personally. But shall surely be taken and delivered into his hand. And thy eyes shall behold the eyes of the king of Babylon, and he shall speak with thee mouth to mouth, and thou shalt go to Babylon. Chapter 52, verses 10 and 11. He says, Zedekiah, you're going to face Nebuchadnezzar face to face when this city is burnt and destroyed. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O King Zedekiah, King of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of thee, Thou shalt not die by the sword, but thou shalt die in peace. And with the burnings of thy fathers, the former kings which were before thee, so shall they burn odors for thee. Incest, incest in, uh, uh, when they had a kind of ceremonial burnings that you read about the kings. They will, we won't be buried in the land. And they will let, lament thee, saying, O oh Lord, for I have pronounced the word, saith the Lord. And then Jeremiah the prophet spake all these words unto Zedekiah the king of Judah in Jerusalem. A proper prophet. He speaks everything that God told him to speak. When the king of Babylon and army fought against Jerusalem and against all the cities of Judah that were left, against Lachish and against Azekia, for these defended cities remain of the cities of Judah. This is the word that came unto Jeremiah from the Lord after the king of Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people which were in Jerusalem to proclaim liberty unto them. That every man should let his manservant Every man his maidservant, being a Hebrew or Hebrew, Hebrewist, go free, that none should serve him of them, to wit, of a Jew his brother. I mean, the Jewish servants of the Jews, let him go. Let him be free. That's the law we're going to look at. Now when all the princes and all the people which have entered into the covenant heard that everyone should let his man, manservant and every one of his maidservant go free, that none should serve themselves of them any more, then they obeyed and let them go. But afterward, they turned and caused the servants and the handmaids whom they had let go free to return and brought them into subjection for servants and for handmaids. So they obeyed, but then again they rebelled. Therefore the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, forgot the hard barnage, forgot the rigor, out of the house of bondmen, saying, and this is found in Exodus 21, 2, and Deuteronomy 15, 12, at the end of seven years, let he go every man his brother, the Jew, a Hebrew family, which has been sold unto thee, when he has served thee six years, thou shalt let him go free from thee. But your fathers hearkened not unto me, neither inclined their ear. So again, 
disobedient to the law, not caring for their own brethren. And ye were now turned and have done right in my sight in proclaiming liberty every man to his neighbor. And ye had made a covenant before me in the house, which is called by my name. So they went to the temple. They made the covenant with the king Zedekiah. We're going to get rid of all these servants and let them go. But ye turned and polluted my name. And caused every man his servant and every man his handmaid, whom he has set at liberty at their pleasure, to return and brought them with the subjection to be unto you for servants and for handmaids. It says in verse 15, And ye were now turned, and done right in my sight, in proclaiming liberty every man to his neighbor. Ye made a covenant before me in the house which is called by my... You know, when you make an oath to God and you do right, when you become saved and turn away and do wrong, It says you polluted God's name. And you do. Because you are called a Christian. Christ. And. Oh, we know a Christian like Demas. He doesn't serve no more. He still drinks. He still smokes. And you pollute the name of God. You did right. You went at liberty, but all your servitude you brought back. All your sins that you served, you brought back. You didn't let them go fully. You kept them far enough that you can call them all back. Therefore thus saith the Lord, Ye have not hearkened unto me in proclaiming liberty every one to his brother, and every man to his neighbor. Behold, I proclaim liberty for you, saith Lord, to the sword, to the pestilence, to the famine. There's those three things of Jeremiah. I will make you to be moved into all the kingdoms of the earth. So they're going to have to do service to the Gentiles. And if they don't, they end up in an iron furnace. If they don't, they'll end up in a lion's den. You think Shadrach, Meshach, Indigo, and Daniel were the only ones? I will give the men that have transgressed my covenant, which have not performed the words of the covenant, which they have made before me, when they cut the calf in twain and passed between the parts of, and that's a form of divination. Those are when you cut the animal, one in parts, if you cut the liver, Certain marks on the liver will mean you go this way, and certain marks you go that way. The princes of Judah, and the princes of Jerusalem, the eunuchs, and the priests, and all the people of the land, which pass between the parts of the cow. The divination. What are they doing using divination? I will, get, I will even give them into the hand of their enemy. So they sought a dead animal for direction and not giving it to God. I will give them into the hand of their enemy and into the hand of them that seek their life, Babylon. And their dead body shall be for meat unto the fowls of the heaven, no grave, and to the beasts of the earth, a violent death. And Zedekiah, king of Judah, and his princes, will I give into the hand of their enemies, and into the hand of them that seek their life, and into the hand of Babylon's army, which are gone up from you. Behold, I will command, saith the Lord, and cause them to return to this city, and they shall fight against it, and take it, and burn it with fire, and I will make the cities of Judah a desolation without inhabitants. God's angry when, when God tells you to do something. You better do it, or you're going to read. And you're not going to be happy what you read. 